Today we're going to finish out our first season here in BBCF Bullbound College Football and our journeyman save. Uh, it has not been a good season to date, two and seven after last episode, but we did pick up a couple of wins. Hopefully last episode you guys picked up those two tips. If you didn't see it, please go back and check it out. I think it'll be worth your time. Uh, and I did space them out in the video, so you kind of had to watch almost the whole thing. So, uh, hey, got to get those viewing numbers up a little bit, right? Uh, <laughs> but, hey, as always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and that helps more people see these videos. And let me know in the comments anything you'd like me to see me doing in here, uh, stuff you'd like to see, questions you might have, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks so much. Let's get into it. All right, so we are in week 12. I've picked up right where I left off last episode. Uh, we did talk about the study hall hours, and we went in. I have not changed anything yet, so let's go do that right now. So we do want... I typically just suggest, except for some of my skill positions, and you can see Owens is not red anymore, which means he came back from official probation this week but we were still able to play him last week. Same with Street there on the defense. And if you're wondering what the colors mean, uh, red is academically suspended or injured. Yellow, like these guys, is some sort of injury. So if we click on him, he's questionable with a strained PCL for the next three to five weeks. Uh, that, but they can still possibly play. But they are down the list. Now, he's got an eye laceration. Uh, secondary player unable to see. That doesn't sound like it'll bode well, but hey, what the hell. The, the AI is putting him up there, so I'm going to go with that. All right, we wanted to go in and I want to raise this back to 100% because we had changed that to try something. I'm going to go back to passing. Remember, anytime you change anything, save it or it won't keep. I don't spend a lot of time on the defense. Basically, I view it that I'm an offensive coach, and I let my defensive coordinator call his own defenses. So I just do the, the suggest there and uh, you know see what he says, and you, usually I'll go with that. There's times that I won't. All right, so I didn't like the strategy, so let's go back into our playbook. We're going to switch back over to the playbook and save that. We're going to be good with that. We're playing Florida Atlantic today. We're both 2-7. and seven. Let's see how we do. Well, a 24-17 victory. And this one, we actually had 10 points in the fourth quarter to come from behind. So it was Williams to Scott, the running back, three-yard touchdown pass in the first quarter. Uh, Williams to Parker for 16 yards gave us a two-touchdown advantage. They made it 14-10 at the half. Third quarter was scoreless. They took the lead on an 11-yard pass early in the fourth quarter. Uh, 9.36 mark, we got a field goal, which tied it up. And then with a minute 49, Williams hit Owens again, this one for 52 yards on the deep ball. Uh, doesn't mean it was a deep pass, but could have been a, could have just been a little hitch pattern that uh, Owens took to the house. So let's go find out. All right, we had uh, 16 first downs. I can't tell if that's 16 or 18, but it looks like 18. So it was close at least. 6 of 16, 6 of 18 on third down. Um, I've got a 4K monitor, and for some reason, when everything gets resized, I can't get it any bigger. Let me Hold on, let me see. Oh my God, look at that. I was able to blow it up a little bit. Thank you for the control mouse wheel. <laughs> That's a little bit better. 6 of 8, I hope it keeps that. Uh, 340 yards to 379. So we were outgained. 77 plays to 76. I'm okay with that. Uh, only 64 yards rushing. So in this case, because we're only carrying, we're only averaging 1.8 yards a carry, I would love to run the ball less. But let's see if we can figure out what's going on and maybe dial that back. Um, and what I would do is normally just go to a super heavy pass, pass attack with this kind of running attack. But I still want something mixed in there, right? Maybe. Maybe. 16 of 38, so below 50%. 
sacked four times, two interceptions, luckily no fumbles, three touchdowns. Can't go wrong there. Williams is 15 of 37, three scores, two picks. Scott, 17 of 63, and here you see again, we're back to what we saw last episode. Williams, 10 carries for 12 yards, and he's not the quarterback we want running the ball. Unfortunately, when you go with the playbook, it, it is based on your starter, and so what that means is they're calling those quarterback plays in the non-short yardage situations. Because remember, we've got it set at 100% for the other quarterback, Faust, to be carrying the ball. And evidently he was in for only one play. All right, let's see. White, three catches. Owens, five catches. All right, so five catches, 87 yards. His long was 52, and his touchdown was 52. Well, but that still doesn't mean that he it was 52 yards deep to him. I guess you know what we could do. This is what we could do. That was at the one that was the last score of the game at the 149 mark. Let's go check out the game log. Still doesn't tell me it was a, it was an out and up play. So, I would guess that that was probably around cuz he had 17 yards after the catch. I would guess it was on this play, so probably about a 30 35 yard pass. So basically he went out, cut out, and then went back up, a double move pass play. So, uh, yeah, still all good, man. All good. So we're 3-7 and seven on the season. Let's move ahead here. Now, this is the point. We're, so, you know, again, it's still the first season. So this is where the finalists are announced for every, every award, if you want to go through and look at that. Uh, it's also available down here. You can look at the award finalist. Uh, but we aren't going to have anybody. <laughs> so I'm just and I like to delete these just to keep my emails clean. The only thing I keep each season is the players that I have uh invited for a visit. Uh so then if I want I can make a note of them, jot them down, and then I can check the recruiting at that point. All right, let's see. Depth chart. And you got to go into the depth chart every week, guys, cuz you just never know when you're going to have an injury uh or anything else. All right. Let's all right, we've gone back to our passing. You can see the tweaks that I've made here. We are going into a heavy, heavy short pass. Still no long passing, but you can see I've really reduced the running plays unless it's very short yardage. So we'll see what that does. I'm going to go back to normal here. All right, let's jump over to our playbook. So we haven't looked at the actual playbook in a couple of episodes, so it's been a few weeks. So I like to do this about every three weeks during the season just to kind of tweak everything and see how things are looking. So that one's down to 3.45. Now, our quarterback is not going to be Faust anymore. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete both of these running plays. None of the running plays are really looking good, but remember, we're not... Oh, actually, I do. I want to take out the quarterbacks. Let's do that, and then let's see if any of these are really working good. That's the best one, I think. So we're going to go to 20, and eventually what I do during the course of a season is I'll dial into anywhere from four to eight plays that are really doing well. Just depends, and every season is different. I reset it every, at the first of every year, um, but I'll look at those, you know, those plays. But during the course of a season, I dial into anywhere from four to eight plays that are having success. Um, like this one's two yards. Normally, I would just get rid of it. But because we're not going to be running a lot, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put 15% there. That way, we've got a lead blocker, even if he's not very good. All right. That gets us 100% there. I want to back out the quarterbacks here. And we'll go 10 there and 5 there. Just to get us to the 100%. Now, because we're going more pass heavy, this is where I want to focus. So 64% and 8 yards a pass. 57 and 8. All right, I don't like the 57, but it's still pretty successful. 
That one's real good, so I'm going to up that one to 20. That one's 54. We're going to get rid of it. 63, but double digits in yardage and three big plays. Let's go with that. 41%. Nope. Two big plays, two touchdowns. I'll keep that one, even though it's at 57. We'll go up to 15 on that one, just mainly because it's only four yards a pass. What that means is on the screen, my running back's not breaking, breaking loose. And that's probably an, a combination between his route running, his catching, his agility, and the quarterback's touch and accuracy. All, you know, he's not hitting them right in stride where he can beat somebody to the corner. Probably what that means. All right, that one we're going to go zero. And then this one's at 66. So let's go there. And that one's also 66. So let's add that one in. And 90% of what we're doing is short passing. So that's what I'm mostly worried about. 50% on a medium pass, 15 yards. I like that. 37 I can live without. 50% we can raise that. 11%? Yeah, let's ditch that. Another 57. 25. 40 will keep 60. That's going to be a good one. Let's go with that. And 30%. No, thank you. 33%. Nope. All right. I, I like tight ends. I'm, I'm partial to tight ends. I like to recruit tight ends. That's just me. Um, they don't always work. Um, but that's one of my preferences. I do like a very good pass catching tight end. Uh, especially since I run a pass-oriented attack. So I, I like to run a lot of double tight end sets with two tight ends, two receivers, uh, things of that nature. But, you know, and that also helps sometimes with uh, blocking if you're keeping people in. Uh, let's see, but we need, I'll put a 10% there, 57, no. I'll do 10 there, and let's go 5 on that one. That gets us to 100%. All right, so now I've made the changes to the playbook. So we are playing. Oh, whatever I did this week, it's not going to mean shit because we're playing number 15, Miami, who's 9 and 2. Number 24 ranked offense against our number 58 ranked defense and our number 79 ranked offense against their 62nd ranked offense defense. Oh boy, this should be ugly. Actually, not as bad as you would have thought, huh? 37-28, actually one of our better offensive outputs. Only 13 first downs, 8 of 17 on third down, which is good. They had 90 plays to our 63. Now you can see we're down to 23 carries. So I'd like to get that down even more if we're only going to average 1.4 yards a carry. 16 of 38, so not a great game defensively. I mean, uh, passing-wise, but uh, one interception, no fumbles. That's positive. Williams to Parker for a four-yard score. Williams to Owens for a 24-yard strike. Williams to White for 45 yards, and then Scott got a two-yard run. And Williams to Parker and a failed two-point conversion in the fourth quarter. So, hey, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. Williams, 15 out of 37, four touchdowns, one pick, and Owens, seven catches, 127 yards, one touchdown, two drops. So again, you can see he's getting targeted a lot because of the plays in the playbook. We're going at him specifically. but he And he's not dropping a ton of balls, which means out of 17 passes, nine were either caught or dropped. Those are the ones that he had access to. All the rest were just bad throws. I mean, we're just crap. Uh, let's see. Offensive line, a couple of pancakes. That's got to be oh, a lot of pancakes, man. Six pancake blocks in this game. Sweet. Uh, we had one fumble recovery, our defensive end, Lee. Two for two on extra points for our kicker. 39-yard Average on punts, 30.3-yard net. 20 yards a kickoff return. 
nine yards for on the one punt return that we had. And there you see the tackles, assists, sacks, uh, 74,476 people in Miami at Joe Robbie. I think they're playing at Joe Robbie. All right, let's get up to the next day. We've got a uh, visit to schedule. So, you, again, and here's what I'll show you. So, defensive end, number 1554, inside linebacker, 1504, and quarterback, 1481. I do want to make sure I go and get the best quarterback I can. So we'll bring him in. He'll be the third quarterback that we have visit this year. Also, if you do want to, like, if you're if you're just doing it for, you know, what I do when I do this suggest, really all I'm looking at, I usually have a quarterback and a running back that I want to play. Everybody else is, you know, most part for the most part interchangeable for me, except in this case, Owens. So what you can do is you can actually lock these and then hit suggest and then they won't move. Now what it will do sometimes if you do that, it will take your first guy that's saved and it'll put him into this fourth slot. Almost like, okay, you did this and I can't choose that spot, but I still need to fill out with all these guys. So it would put Faust or Williams down here. It didn't do it this time, but sometimes it will. And if that's the case, you just right click on this last one and take them out of there. Not a problem at all. And you can do that for any particular position, especially if it's, you know, like with Williams, where we don't think the game doesn't realize that he's our best quarterback, uh, but we do, or at least we think we do. So I'm going to suggest that, but. Go back here to 100% on the quarterback. Again, I'm not paying a lot of attention to that last game, and we just did the playbook, so I'm not going to go right back in. This is our rivalry game, so you do get a little bit of a bonus uh, to your season and your final season grade as a coach if you beat your rivals. So this is kind of important. We are 10-point favorites in this one. So hopefully we can pull it out. And what do you know? The defense pitches a shutout, 18 to nothing. Means with a, four field goals. And then uh, we had uh, Arnold Fountain, a one-yard touchdown run. No touchdown passes. That's strange. 385 to 182 on the yardage, 70 to 58 on rushing, and 315 to 124 passing. We were 29 of 48. So 58 would be 50%. So that's pretty good. That's great. That's probably our best game of the season. They were 7 of 20. No interceptions. Two fumbles, but none lost. Four of six on field goals. And five of six in the red zone. Williams was 26 of 43. 289 yards, but no touchdowns. Faust was three of five. Uh, Miller, 23 of 79. Scott, three carries for two yards. I wonder if he got hurt. Unfortunately, there's not an easy way to see injuries in the game. So let's go into the depth chart. Scott did not get injured, but it doesn't mean he didn't get injured in that game. He could have got hurt in the course of the game, you know, and, and had to sit out the rest of the game. Possibly. All right, so we finished the season four and eight, four and three in the Sun Belt. So let's do a quick wrap up here. Uh, and then we can uh, jump in and I will do the postseason, let you guys see the national champion. Actually, we'll do that next episode because I see we're at about 25 minutes now. So this will end our season. Next episode, we'll do uh, like we usually do in a in a football manager save. We'll do our end of season review and wrap up, and then we'll get into the off season, into uh, the transfer window as we call it in football manager, but into recruiting here in bowl bound college football. Uh, so we'll take a look at our final end of season statistics. I will sim through the postseason and let you guys look at the bowl games uh, and. Uh, the national championship. Uh, not sure if you want to, if you need to see all the bowl games because there's usually a lot. There's four weeks of games, but we'll at least focus in on the uh, on the championship series. 
So look for that next episode. Hit that like button if you like what I'm doing. I do appreciate that. And that helps get more eyes on the videos. Subscribe. That always helps uh, a, a growing channel if uh, more subscriptions. And don't forget, I do have daily content going up here on the channel. Uh, thanks for coming by and checking it out. We end the season on a positive note, a big victory. Take care, guys. Bye.